Well, we've all heard the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. But how would you like to make millions out of it? Well, that is exactly what our next guest does, and he promises he can make you rich as well. This is a very good morning to Pete Williams. How are you going, Pete? Really well, Jess, really well. Now, this is a fairly big promise to make people, that you can also help them make a million dollars. How can you do it? Uh, well, basically, everyone's had their idea at some point along the beach, in the shower. And it's really not that hard if you just take some easy steps and just start in your part-time and start building it with some principles. How do you know, though, the difference between, say, a million-dollar idea and a two-dollar idea? Uh, very good question. There's a lot of people who've had uh, two-dollar ideas that haven't got anywhere. So it's about research. You've got to start off and actually make sure your market that you're trying to sell to is big enough and hungry enough to actually give you the million dollars that you're after. Because you came up with a pretty good idea, Pete. You decided to sell off chunks of the MCG. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it was a great little venture, actually, a few years back. Basically, I was uh, reading another book um, from some US authors, and they told the story about a gentleman from uh, early 80s, I think it was, in New York, bought all the timber that was the walkway of the Brooklyn Bridge in Manhattan. Basically, what he did is made a 5 size certificates up with a history of the Brooklyn Bridge and a small square of the actual timber, sold them off for about $15 each and made about $2 million out of it. I sort of read that and just my lights went on and went, wow, that's a great idea. So I started to think about how I could actually replicate that here in Australia. So you made that happen. Was that pretty hard to make it happen? Was there lots of red tape that you had to go through? Um, surprisingly not, actually. I uh, basically started thinking what's actually happening in Australia that I could uh, replicate that venture with, and the MCG had just started the redevelopment for the uh, uh, Commonwealth Games that we just had. Basically, I made a couple of phone calls, found the wrecking company that actually was doing the demolition of the Ponsford stand, rang them up, had a quick chat to them and sort of asked them, do you have any scraps left over? The plan was to just do the similar sort of certificates as the US guy. But basically, throughout the conversation, I found they had a lot of the timber, but also a lot of the old MCC crested carpet that actually used to lie in the members' dining room, which actually was in the Ponsford stand. Being a, a sports memorabilia nut myself, I kind of uh, saw a dollar sign, so to speak. Um, basically bought all of it over the phone, went to the wrecking company the next morning, picked it all up, took it home and started to turn it into a uh, series of limited edition memorabilia pieces. So, so it was actually uh, relatively easy. Well, so you made it very productive for, for yourself. And I understand you've been interested in business <coughs> pretty much all your life. You're only in your early 20s now. How, is it something that you've always thought, I want to come up with new ideas, I want to create some different things? Oh, absolutely. I don't know I don't know where it came from, but I've always kind of been sort of entrepreneurial bend in me anyway. There's a, a really kind of funny story that when I was about three or four, that or story that mum tells, is that she was in the uh, kitchen baking or something, and I actually came out and had drawn arrows all the way down the hallway in crayon, pointing to my office. And I was like three or four years old, so instead of you know, playing with toy trucks and drawing houses on the walls, I was actually giving directions to my office in the back room. <laughs> Just finally, Pete, don't you think then that's the key, that either it's something you've got, it's in your blood, or you haven't got it? I think everyone's got a little bit of an entrepreneurial bend to them. Everyone's had that idea, as I said earlier, with you know, walking on the beach or in the shower, but I think it's that you've got to have it in you to actually want to take the risk and actually have a crack and try and get your idea off the ground and not put it in the back of the cupboard and have that, oh, damn, I should have done that feeling when you actually see your idea in real life you know, six months down the track by someone else. Pete, thanks for your time this morning. Obviously, your persistence paid off. Not a problem. Thank you. Well, interesting young man. <laughs>